Hey guys, welcome to vdcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to find square roots by using factorization process. So now let us take the first example that is 484 and let us factorize this. So here 484 can be written as 2 into 242 and again 484 can be written as 2 into 2 into 121. And here 121 is nothing but 11 into 11. So we can write this as 2 into 2 into 11 into 11. So here 11 into 11 is equal to 121. And then now let us proceed and group these factors and make them as equal factors. So here we get 2 into 11 into 2 into 11. That is nothing but 22 into 22 which is equal to 22 square. So here we can say that square root of 484 is equal to 22. Now let us proceed and take another example that is 729. 729 can be written as 3 into 243. That implies we can write 729 as 3 into 3 into 81. So here 3 into 81 is equal to 243. Now again we can write this as 3 into 3 into 9 into 9. And now let us group these factors and make them as equal factors. So this can be written as 3 into 9 into 3 into 9. That is equal to 27 into 27 which is equal to 27 square. So here we can say that square root of 729 is 27. Now let us proceed and find the square root of the another example that is 1296. So here this can be written as 2 into 648 and again the given number can be written as 2 into 2 into 324. Here 2 into 324 is equal to 648. Now again the given number can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 162. So here 2 into 162 is equal to 324. And now again we can write this as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 81. Now again we can write this as 2 multiplies itself for 4 times and here 81 is nothing but 9 into 9. So now let us group the factors and make them as equal factors. So we can write this as 4 into 9 into 4 into 9. That is equal to 36 into 36 and we get here 36 square. So here we can say that square root of 1296 is equal to 36. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.